Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I would like to talk about Kickstarter decks. There are quite a few decks out there uh, floating around on Kickstarter, both playing card decks, oracle decks, tarot decks, gaming decks, all kinds of decks, um, and there are um, six that I have backed, yes. Six. I feel like I lost my damn mind, but there are <laughs> so many beautiful decks out there um, that, you know, I, I love supporting creators. You know, I myself was supported on Kickstarter. You know, I created the uh, Wally's World Oracle with the help of people from our community. And so my dream became a reality uh, because of Kickstarter and uh, community support. So I want to be able to do the same for other creators as well. So let's actually jump in and start talking about some of these decks that I have backed. But remember, this isn't an exhaustive list. This isn't saying that, you know, I don't like everybody's deck out there. It's just, you know, I, uh, I can't... <laughs> support everybody on Kickstarter. So these are the six that uh, I am supporting and I do encourage you to, um, if you can, you know, I'm not saying that you have to, but if you have the means to, uh, please do check out uh, these decks that I'm about to show you as well as, you know, just kind of perusing Kickstarter for, you know, other products and um, people trying to, you know, get their creations out in the world. I think that that is a beautiful thing. So let's go ahead and get started with the first deck that I backed. It's the Oracle of the Strange Forest by Gabriel Cash. Um, now I actually have a deck from hers already. I bought the Weird Cat Tarot. Um, she is a fabulous artist. I, I love her portrayal of cats, uh, obviously um, her actual cats are the muse for her projects. Um, I love her use of color. Um, she creates a lot of uh, like enamel pins. She has uh, her own little shop, so definitely go check her out. But um, I just love the, the whimsical nature of her um, portrayal of animals in general. And for me, I love working with animal medicine. I definitely work with, you know, animal energy other than cats, of course. You know, I have a little puma and a little panther, but, um, you know, I, I like her deck. Again, the use of color, um, the very playful, uh, lighthearted feel of the card. So, you know, definitely go check out Oracle of the Strange Forest. All right, um, moving on to the Nest of Light Oracle. And this is from one of my good friends, Awasima, over at Wasi Magic. Um, she also has a YouTube channel called Ascension Waves. So definitely go check her out. And the purpose of this deck is to help raise the vibration of the world. So, um, you know, she was saying that if individually we can raise our own vibrations, we could raise the vibration of the planet, which would be just freaking awesome. And the art on this deck, oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I was going to support uh, my friend anyway, because she's my friend. But, you know, if I didn't even know her, I would have still backed this deck because it's, it's, it really is a very high frequency, high vibrational type deck. And so I think you guys should definitely check it out. Um, she has a couple of Facebook groups and she's been using the cards over there um, and doing some challenges and everything. And it's just, it's freaking awesome. So I'm probably gonna say freaking awesome a lot because <laughs> that's how I feel about these decks. By the way, the Oracle of the Strange Forest and the Nest of Light Oracle, um, those have all been successfully funded, but I do want you guys to kind of keep your uh, eyes and ears out uh, for um, pre-orders. So if you guys are interested in those, um, you can definitely do some pre-orders. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start doing pre-orders once they get their decks in. And then of course they'll fulfill all their Kickstarter orders first uh, before they do the um, pre-orders. Cause that's how I had to do it when, you know, I. I did my deck on Kickstarter. We go on to the Blooming Cat Tarot by The Clever Crow. And again, the the artwork, I'm me, I'm just like, you know, I'm a lover of art. That's probably why I have so many decks because it's like you get, you know, 
78 cards if it's a tarot deck um, or you know 64 cards 80 cards 32 cards you know if it's an oracle deck whatever you know the number may be of all these individual beautiful pieces of art um, you can display them on your altar on your nightstand you can pull a card of the day you use it in spreads and it just for me it really taps into our own personal intuition that's why um, I love that there are so many diverse decks out there um, and so many diverse artists with varying point of views because then it um, touches our intuition in various different ways, you know, which, you know, will help us to understand ourselves and the world around us, which, you know, can't be a bad thing. Uh, but anyway, the Clever Crow uh, is a designer and illustrator out in Vegas. So I was like, hey, hey. And there's 19 days left as this is being filmed. By the way, today is May the 4th. So to all my Star Wars homies out there, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> um, so yes, as I'm filming this, you have 19 days left on that Kickstarter. So definitely check it out. Then we go to Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle by Mandy Peterson. And there are 80 cards, but actually she we unlock some stretch goals. So I think there's going to be like... Uh, a couple more cards um, but her cards are front and back uh, which I thought was rather interesting so um, you know and it's all about diving into your past life in order to heal your current life so if you're struggling with anxiety or you have certain phobias and things like that you can dive into a past life and figure out how to utilize that understand it do like some really far away shadow work like past life type shadow work in order to help the present and that's something that you know I talked about over on my patreon when I was doing um past lives I had a past life live chat over there they yeah, have past life live chat <laughs> and uh you know that's exactly what I was talking about so I totally resonate connect jive with this deck and there's only four days left on this kickstarter again as this is getting filmed so definitely go check it out if that's something that interests you and the second to last deck is the botanica tarot by beehive books um and oh my gosh what can i say about this you know this just tickles my little green nature heart because you know for me i love working with the flowers and the fruits of my garden and um you know, I, I am all about everything nature, like animals and plants is like my, my thing. And this deck is freaking gorgeous. And what I've seen of the cards so far and how it applies to um, the different cards in the tarot, like the fool card, a dandelion. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> um, so you guys totally need to check this out. Um, Beehive Books, by the way, uh, which is the creator of this deck, uh, not the artist, but the creator, um, the artist, I believe is Jay Stanton. Um, they, uh, created, it was like a comic book series or a comic book anthology that was like the second most funded deck on Kickstarter. And if you look at what they are funded at right now for the Botanica Tarot, like, holy cow, I'm not the only one that thinks this deck is like awesome sauce. So... If you're into flowers, plants, nature, or if you're just into a uh, beautiful use of color um, and, and darkness and light, then this is going to be a deck for you. And the last deck that I want to talk about um, is the Emotion Energy Oracle by Dawn Beetle. And there's 23 days left on her uh, Kickstarter, but what I love about her deck is, again, nature. Like I said, all about my little nature heart. <laughs> um, but she um, basically went out into nature, like literally went out into nature, uh, brought her um, paints and everything with her, and she used water from local lakes and streams and used that for her watercolors and her art um, and created um, images to go with certain emotions so let's say she was looking for the emotion of forgiveness she sat with that and asked spirit to guide her her paintbrush basically uh, guide my brush and show me um, what emotion um, forgiveness would look like if it were put out on canvas uh, so again you know connecting with uh, nature she used the the water from the nearby stream um, and just like painted and painted and painted until you know that 
um, you know, image felt complete to her. And I think that that's fabulous that, you know, she was just basically surrounded by the energy of the earth and, um, the images are definitely deep and thought provoking and, um, you know, emotions are a funny thing, you know, uh, they, they can, <laughs> they can drive us, you know, to, um, greatness. Sometimes they can, uh, drive us to misery, you know, and it's good to kind of understand them and understand ourselves, not so that we can control them, but so we can just understand them. Uh, and I think the more that we understand them, uh, the more we can, uh, live, uh, abundant, happy lives, you know? So, uh, definitely check her out. Oh, by the way, she is a fellow teacher as well. Um, you know, of art design and everything. So I was like, Hey, Hey, <laughs> cause I'm a high school teacher. You know, she also taught secondary school in, uh, the UK. So please check out Dawn Beetle, uh, 23 days left on her Kickstarter. And I don't think I mentioned with the Botanica Tarot, there's only three days left there. So definitely check it out. So many wonderful cards, so many wonderful decks uh, out on Kickstarter. So definitely please go check all of them out. Um, you know, and like I said, if you can afford it, you know, think about uh, backing a artist, a creator. Um, I know that there's a lot of mass produced decks out there and nothing against them because at one point, many of those people whose decks are now mass produced they were just indie, indie creators, you know, and their dreams have finally taken off, you know, were, were published by, um, like Hay House or all of those, you know, different people. Um, so I think that's great. So everybody's got to start somewhere and these indie deck creators would just love to see their creations come to life. I loved seeing my creation come to life and who knows, maybe Wally's world might be, you know, um, mass produced someday. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we all have to start somewhere. And so, yes, let's make these people's dreams become a reality again, if, if you're able to do so. And if not, you know, Hey, just send them a little love, maybe a little, a little note of you're doing a great job. What I, uh, what you're doing is wonderful work. You know, that also helps to raise people's spirits. So anyway, that's it for me, spiritual homies. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you guys have backed other decks or there are decks that you guys are looking at. Maybe there are decks that you guys are going to be putting out on Kickstarter very soon. So let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for me, spiritual homies. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have not only my Wally's World Oracle, which you saw, I have uh, a lot of different types of readings. I have my room and body sprays. I have my salves. Um, I think, let me think I have one bracelet left um, and I don't have very m many witch kits left. So definitely go check that out. Um, and if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. Lots of freebies and goodies and crystally goodness and witchy goodness over there. And, uh, Hey, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter, which is absolutely free. I only hit your inbox once a month. That is it. That is the only time, uh, at the beginning of the month, the first of every month. Um, and my newsletter includes, uh, witchy DIYs, crafty DIYs, uh, decks that I'm using, teas that I'm drinking, uh, crystals that I'm using and things like that. So anyway, if that interests you, go check it out and I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love and chicken grease. Peace out.